Here's a crazy new use for flex seal. Not that I'm saying anyone should try this, but you can use it to seal a leaky, rusty gas tank. So that's a gas tank leak. Simple yeah. rust out. Yeah. Quite dry in parts. So hopefully it's going to be dry enough to get a good adhesion. But it seems like it's covering it okay. So let's see, it says 48 hours before you can apply another coat, or 48 hours to cure. Okay, let's assess the situation now. It's actually dried up quite a bit since I took the gas cap off and gave it a week instead of a couple days. So I can do a good pan across. This is where there's still a little bit of seepage now since I moved it. I think it tilted and got some more gas in the pocket. I'm running out of time for this experiment, so I gotta just cut a fish bait. So that's the way it looks right now. But this here, that's still coming up damp to the touch. That was dry a minute ago, so I think that happened when I tilted the car. So a little thin layer of the flex seal paste, and then spray some of the flex seal spray on top of it to finish the seal. And it may hold for a while. Let's find out. I'm going to try to get it the whole 48 hour curing time too. If I can, I might have to cut it back. Temperatures are about a little over 32. I'm trying to keep it under over the 40 degree mark for the entire time of this drying cycle. But that's my one fear right now is the coldness is going to be a problem. But there's another area further back where it looks like this flux seal spray is actually washed away maybe. So, I think there's a secondary hole that I don't know about yet, so I'm going to go and check out so I can discover it. But you can see that. Let me try to see if I can towel this off for you. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to bend the pressure. I can pretty much press the paste into this and not. Dent, dent the tank. So this should soak up gasoline and show it if there is any. And there it is, a little bit. So it's just going to continue to seep like this is just no getting around that. I don't have a month to let this naturally dry out. I could put a, a spotlight on it and force it dry that way. A little rubbing action to it right now. More coming off. Who knows, maybe a slight layer of fiber would be just what I need to make this for. Call it fiber reinforced. Okay. Here's another good press. What I should do is put a little stick or something underneath it to press it up against this. Let it sit there for like a good 5-10 minutes and soak up all I can. Even there I can see the clear spot from the gasoline still. Okay, so 
as I said, let's go take a look at this other spot here. And get to it. it. Looks like that might be wet. But what I thought I'd see is actually this part right here. There's a little on the corner there, the inside corner has a little bit of a leak action to it. A little flecking, but the flex seal is still there, it's just stained by the rust. And I'll decide how I want to do this. I want to go with the flex spray or the flex paste. Okay, so this is the video of me patching this. So there's the tin foil, you want to make sure you save that before we recycle these two. Let's see what the consistency is out of the tub. That's a good solid putty. Now I'm not going to stir it up because it's oxidation is your enemy in this. you got to very quickly take that, apply it to the business end of this trowel, do a couple quick reaches, and hopefully that'll be the main leak stopping where it won't dissolve on me. It'll be more solid than the spray was, and then the spray will go over everything just to give it a seal. That's the plan. I can almost feel the dampness. You drippy son of a bitch. I thought you were supposed to stick. You're not sticking. You just dripped on my fucking phone. Oh, you're just going to keep doing it too, aren't you? Sucks. I got contaminated stuff all over my trowel I gotta get off.
Fish leader doesn't want to stick. But it doesn't help that there's like bird edges around his spots where the paint ends. Being a big bird edge that I can't quite get this to tuck into. Will not stick to gasoline. Even trace amounts of gasoline are screwing this up. What am I seeing? Alright, so this is the flex seal paste applied to the leaky area. I think I'm going to put some more down on the other side too, because I do see potential for another rust leak. Bursting out all over. That looks kind of bad. So I think I got to. Do that a little bit, then I'm gonna spray that because I think it sprayed last time.
So that's our second try at using Flex Seal to fix a leaky gas tank. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so far in this video series, we've gone through an entire can of this gray Flex Seal spray. Got two good coats down on the gas tank with that. Used maybe a, th a third of the tub of this. Now, when it comes to this paste, oxygen and humidity are your big enemies here, so you want to make sure you don't throw this away because you're going to be using this again to press against like so. Try to work out all the air bubbles if there's air bubbles there. Help me scoop it out cleanly in the first place. And you make sure you don't stir it up either. Doesn't need that. So you put all this back in. With any luck, you'll get a second and third use out of this. Let's take a look at what it looks like underneath here. I don't know what that is. Then get it a little closer for a head closer shot. It looks like I could have covered better with the spray than I did. But still, it's all sealed one way or the other. That makes me a little nervous though, this little bit here. It looks like that could be a problem. Maybe they'll work together, huh? Alright, let's get the rest of this shot done so I can go back in the house because it's cold out here. It's like 40 degrees, 42 degrees right now. So that's what it looks like. So there you go. Sealing of the gas tank using the Flex Seal paste backed up by this Flex Seal spray. Although the spray was a little bit watery near the bottom of the can.